but lanes two to eight will be filled in the second heat Switzerland the German Democratic Republic West Germany Sweden Great Britain lane six Romania and Finland and that lineup just emphasizes the difference in standards in qualifying indeed it will be interesting to see the Soviets as you saw got home in 326.1 the championship record is 10 seconds faster than that but the British record is 325.51 and uh, that Soviet squad were within a second of it so that's a good and they were taking it easy remember so the British girls may have to be at their very best I think they would rather uh, have uh, an inside berth on this it's just a more comfortable ride it looks daunting if the outside team appear to have such a, a lead because it's a stagger not for 400 meters but of course for 600 meters they don't come into the straight until they've run the whole of the first lap and the full bend of the second lap and then you rule as I was explaining because of the uh, barging and bumping that goes on at the exchange zone that's over the finish line of course whoever is in the lead is Angela Pickford incidentally with 200 meters to go if Great Britain are in the lead they have to line up in lane one and if the Soviet team is second they'd have to be in two and it can't change whatever happens down the straight you can't change a team you've got to stay there and wait for the baton in that order and that's the new rule in an attempt to uh, avoid some of the uh, barging that's been going on yeah. there's Angela Pigford one hopes that the new rule has been uh, clearly spelled out to everyone because if uh, if they change they can be disqualified if uh, the outside team suddenly feel that uh, the runners getting tired and they want to move to the inside that's trouble for them they will be disqualified that's a good West German team Arendt Lesch, Janka and Silky Knoll a team worthy of medals Sweden well they're improving all the time Kleber, Johansson, Akraka and their very good 400 meter hurdler Monica Weston confirmation that that's the British order Pat Beckford on third. This is Angela Pickford. Good Romanian squad. And an unpronounceable Finnish squad. There they go. Switzerland all in red on the inside. German Democratic Republic in blue. Then the red band across the white vest. And the British uh, vest that you'll know, uh, Angela Pickford. But uh, Sweden have the yellow and black. Angela gone off quite strongly. That's the Finnish team right on the outside. Surinaka. And that's uh, Karatasu who's chasing her. And then Angela Pickford making up good ground on the outside two teams. But they're not two of the strongest teams. The strength's going to come from the inside. And there it is in the shape of West Germany. And East Germany inside them. And they're coming around. And they're already in the lead. Angela possibly in third place at this stage and running well the Swiss being left badly and Angela will probably get the baton nicely to Jenny Stout who's got to stay in her lane and takes over the baton in third and remember it's the first three plus two from the two semi-finals that make the final and it's only at the end of this bend can Jenny Stout come across and start chasing the West German girl in front of her and the East German girl is way out in front that's Annette Hesselbart Hesselbart leads from Helga Arendt and Jenny Stout in close pursuit with the Swiss, uh, the Swedish girl Johansson following her but is five meters down so the British team safe at this moment in time and that looks as though the East German squad are cruising they're looking at the scoreboard which Sir Arthur Gold has always reckoned to be a technical advantage and should be banned because it really is a technical aid you can see and Jenny Stout's had a good run she's closed on the West German girl Arendt and Gabby Lesch to take over next and we've got Pat Beckford and Pat's got it now but the, that was a bad exchange that meant all the gap ground made up by Jenny Stout and we think that Angela Pickford ran 53.8 and uh, Stan Greenberg assures me that Jenny Stout's run 51.6 a very very good run indeed 
still safely in third. That foreshortened view doesn't show you that Sweden are 10 metres back on Angel on uh, on uh, Pat Beckford, and but she has lost ground, no doubt about that, to Gabby Lesch, the German 800 metre champion, who's closed very significantly on Petra Schersing, Petra Muller that was. However, the East Germans know that by looking at the scoreboard, they've got 50 metres clear. And Pat Beckford is closing well. She's done well in the latter stages of this race, and she'll hand to Linda Keogh, and I'm quite certain that Linda Keogh knows that we're safely there. There's a 40-metre gap as uh, Grit Brewer goes off, being chased by Karen Yanka, and Linda Kerr safely in third. In fact, she's just to make it certain, she's getting away from the Swiss team, the Swiss team with Anita Protti on the closing leg, and West Germany just letting the East Germans know that they're around. Now, by comparison, remember the Soviet squad ran 3.26.1. Grit Brewer, I don't think will like being overtaken. She'll hold, uh, she'll hold Karen Yanka off and that's she's really coasting though and so too is Linda Keogh who's got right with them brought the British team into contention lets the West German girl know that she's there freezes on her shoulder Beckford's time 51-6 as fast as Jenny Stout a great run and this is a safe third place and they're just outside the Soviet time it's 3.28-24 in fact two seconds slower but Great Britain comfortably there but I had the feeling that the uh, East German quartet were really cruising. Linda Keogh, 51-7, so that's, uh, they've averaged extremely well. Let me remind you, Angela Pickford, 53-8, who has the difficult leg, really difficult, uh, no outgoing speed, of course, she starts from dead still. Then Jenny Stout, 51-6, Pat Beckford, 51-6, and Linda Keogh, 51-7. That's the winning team, 3-28-24, and it should be a cracking final. Next on the track, the men's 4x400 metre semi-finals. And that's the qualifying the same. The first 3 plus 2 from the two semi-finals. And Great Britain going in lane 6 in the first uh, semi-final. Linda Keogh is very, very easy here. But uh, those were impressive times by the Brit British individually. Found a bit of running, haven't they? If they, uh, you know, averaging well under 52. And we haven't got great individual 400 metre runners. Linda Keogh, the only specialist there. It's a very good quartet very good piece of teamwork let's hope the same is true we've got a, a higher quality men's squad they really must uh, be you know up and around in the medal hunt especially with our great tradition over four by four so uh, 